What's up guys, my name is Greg and if you're new to this channel, welcome and please join me for today's video where I'm going to show you how to build this bedside pedestals. Let's go! So the specific wood I'm using for this project is called rubber wood. It's much stronger than pine. When you come to assemble your boxes, there's a few methods you can use and the specific method I'm going to use is some wood glue and a nail gun. This method is working for me for years now. The other two techniques you can also use to build your boxes is using some screws and some wood filler and the other method is using some dials. The outer box needs to be rough and rugged, so don't use fine sandpaper. I'm starting with 100 grit with the belt sander, then I'm moving to 150 grit with my orbital sander. I'm not going into too much detail with the inside box drawers. This is quite an easy box to build. The inside box obviously needs to be a little bit smaller than your outer box. Just make sure you keep an account the measurements for the runners for the drawers.
And also just to give you a tip for the day, if you want to clean some excess wood glue off, just use a damp cloth and wipe it off, it's going to come off very easily. So I don't want the outside edges of my outer box to be sharp and square. That's why I'm just going to give it a small chamfer right around on all my boxes. Now for all our South African fans out there, we did start a custom furniture brand craft house where we're only specifically focusing on exclusive furniture. I am going to leave a link down in the description where you can find all our details. We're using a gas flame gun to heat in our copper head for our branding iron to sign all our furniture that's going out of our shop. So I did play around with some varnishes that was lying around in my shop. This specific color I'm going to use to varnish my boxes is made out of three colors. I use some teak varnish, golden brown and walnut. Mix them all together and I got this beautiful light golden brown I used to varnish the outside of my boxes. I'm not going into too much detail how to install drawer runners, there's tons of videos on the net how to install this. When I installed my wooden boxes into my steel frame, I just applied some few layers of masking tape on the inside of my steel frame. So when I'm going to install my wooden boxes, I don't scratch the steel frame on the inside.
just doing some final measurements to make sure that the inside gap between my two wooden boxes is exactly the same before I'm going to fasten my wooden boxes to my steel frame. So the thickness of my wood is 20 millimeters thick and I use a 30 millimeter hex screw to fasten my wooden boxes to my steel frame. So I pre-drilled two holes into my front face of my drawers. So when I'm going to install my handles, I'm going to drill straight through the front face into the back drawer. So off camera, I did do some final adjustments on all my drawers. So my spacing is equal right around. This is all for today, guys. I honestly hope you enjoyed the step-by-step -step instructional video, how to build your own bedside pedestals. Before you go, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so you don't miss out on any future projects or videos I'm posting. Cheers, guys.